Hello and welcome to Our Life in Horror. My name is Brendan. I'm Sam. And today we have a brand new trailer drop review for you. Yes, we're going to be reviewing The Watchers. The full trailer drop today. They had the teaser a while ago. Yeah, which I was blatantly confused. <laughs> when I texted you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, the full trailer's out now. And this movie is based off of a book. And I actually really wanted to read it last year. And I never got around to it. Okay, well, are you going to read it now? I don't know. I'm like, I have to be in the mood to read, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. um, but this is directed by, I hope I say this right, Ishana Night Shyamalan. It sounded good. Ishana. I think you nailed it. It's M. Night Shyamalan's daughter. Yes. <laughs> um, this is her directorial debut. Yes. She also did some of the shooting in uh, Old. Oh, cool. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so starring Dakota Fanning. I haven't seen her in a very long time. Yeah, it's so weird because I'm listening to um who am I listening to? I'm listening to my uh horror version. Horror and, version. And okay. they're they're reviewing uh War of the Worlds. Oh okay. And Dakota Fanning's in it. Oh okay. So it's just weird. I haven't seen that, but Oh, it's actually pretty good. Okay. This is a stacked cast though. Oh, incredibly stacked. Yes. So this trailer starts uh with uh, Dakota Fanning's character talking to a parrot saying that she's going out tonight. I'm going out tonight. Try not to die. Try not to die. Try not to die. And I thought you couldn't talk. Yes, and she's putting on a wig, and it looks like she's going on, like, a date. She does put on a wig, because I was, like, looking at it, I'm like, she was blonde a second ago, and now she's a brunette. Yeah, because she takes, you see her tie her hair back, and she puts the wig on. Oh, okay. Yeah, and afterwards, like, she goes on this date, and then afterwards, she's talking to the parrot. She says something like, Don't look at me like that. It's just something I do sometimes. Yeah. So I'm wondering, like, is she just doing this for a thrill? Is she doing it? Is she doing it for money? Is she... Does she have a sexual kink? Yeah. Like, I'm excited to see what that's all about. Okay. <laughs> I know it's not going to be a big part of the movie, but... No, probably not. <laughs> but I'm curious. Um, so then you see her driving after with the parrot in the back, and there's a bunch of, like, missing people's photos. Yeah. I was trying to see if I could find the rest of the cast on there, but um, I only watched oh. it. I only watched it like one and a half times. So I didn't think I recognized them, but I didn't think I did either. Yeah, but I think this is going on for a while. Like a lot of people go to this forest and then die, kind of thing. Okay. Um, based off of the rest of the trailer. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm wondering why she's going into this forest. <laughs> she could just be on a road trip. Could be. Um, but yeah, and then all the electronics start going all wonky and her car shuts down. Totally extraterrestrial phenomenon right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's, <laughs> aliens, that's what happens. Mm -hmm. And then there's a bunch of like scary noises in the forest and then oh, the actress, I she plays Sally in The Last Texas Chainsaw. Yeah. She's standing there with the open door and says, well, you got five seconds. <laughs> well, she Dakota Fanning hears some scary noises and she looks mm -hmm. and then she looks back and her car is gone. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah. Or I don't remember that, I guess. Yes. Okay. And then the woman with the door opens up. Okay. You have five seconds before the door is sealed. Five, four, three... And yeah, so she's got five seconds to come in, and then the door's going to be shut. Yeah, and the door just, like, that whole little building just appears out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. It wasn't there uh, in the shot before that. Okay. Hmm, I'm curious. And things are, like, popping and appearing just out of seemingly real, like, a different dimension or something. Okay. And uh, then when she comes in, she says, we can't keep them waiting. They're going to be excited for someone new. Happening? What is this place? I don't mean to scare you, but we haven't much time. It's not wise to keep them waiting. Yeah, but who is going to be excited? Yeah, I I know. <laughs> um, They'd be very interested in someone new. It's a window on the other side. They come every night. Then they start talking about how they they don't know who they are, but they come every night and they watch us. I'm assuming it's the creatures that are out there. I would think so, yeah. Yeah, this is where things started feeling like the show from, for me. 
Yes. And when you brought that up to me, I felt it throughout the whole trailer. Yes. So I'm not sure if you have seen the show from, but it's basically a place where this family drives through and then they can't escape it. They can't escape this place. If they keep driving, they'll keep on doing loops. And there's these creatures that come out just at night and they're very manipulative and they try to get them to come outside sort of thing. Yes. Very good show. (laughs) Yeah. Excellent show. Um, so yeah, this totally gave me From vibes. Um, not sure how long ago the book came out, but I'm wondering if From maybe got the I got some ideas off of the book, or I could definitely see some inspirational thoughts from the book there. Yeah. Um, they also say that um, no one has ever seen one of these creatures and survived. And then somebody dies, and is it one of the Lancasters from? Uh, Game of Thrones. Oh. It looks like uh, the dude who fucks his sister. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to do a rewatch. I didn't recognize him, but uh, okay. I, uh, I don't maybe know. if I do a rewatch of the trailer again, I'll catch on to that. Okay, I don't see why they would have him in there just to like be a flashback kill scene, but like I'm like, that dude kind of looks like the guy from Game of Thrones. Yeah, okay. I'll have to watch again after this. <laughs> then they mention um, that they, they keep saying they, but like they allow us to live if we follow their rules. To be here, and I'm not staying here. They allow us to live because we follow their rules. So I'm wondering what all the rules are. Yeah, uh, that'll be a big part of the movie, I'm sure, following them, because um, later on it says that the old woman says that Dakota Fanon's character has broken too many of the rules. Mm-hmm. So what are they? How many are there? I know. I kind of like when a movie has rules like that. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Let's do that. Depending. <laughs> so then there's also a scene where this girl, I think it was Georgina Campbell. Is that her name? Uh, she hears her husband outside. Oh, yes. The woman from Barbaria. Yeah. And... Um, basically, the group is telling her not to trust it. It's a, it's a trick. Please open the door. John? <laughs> My husband's outside. This is a trick. Um, this also kind of reminded me of From because the creatures in that show are very manipulative. They try to get you to come outside sort of thing. Yep. And then you see the TV, and I'm assuming that was her husband on the TV. I would, yeah, I would think so. Yeah, so I'm wondering if it's, like, actually him or if they're making these illusions. I was... I was going to say that. I think that's in in their mind type of thing. Like this could be like some kind of double that they bring. Yeah. They mind project create him or something like that. Yeah. And I'm wondering like, like there's a TV in there where they're showing this. So I'm wondering like what happens on this TV. It could just be like different camera views of just the outside because how else would mm-hmm. they have known that Dakota Fanning's character was outside? That's true. What they probably it makes me wonder like, what this place is, how they got security cameras. If they're stuck there, like there is security cameras there already. Like, uh, what are they eating? Yeah. So many questions. So many. (laughs) It it does show them go outside though. With like uh, one guy had like a hunting something. So wondering if they have to hunt for their food or maybe. Maybe. Yeah. We'll we'll have to see. Have any other thoughts? No, I'm very excited for this. This is like a total, James Cameron, uh, not James Cameron, but like J.J. Abrams mystery box movie, you know, um, basically he's like, he's got a question box in the, in the box and then it's just a never ending box of questions. So it's, okay. it's, and I'm very curious to see where it goes. I'm very excited. Um, how do you say her name? Dakota Fanning? No. Oh, Georgina Campbell? No. It's <laughs> uh, Shyamalan. We're, oh, uh, Ishana. Nice like Shyamalan. <laughs> Shyamalan. Yes, I'm very excited to see her first debut. Mm-hmm. I'm wondering if it's going to have that pop twist ending that her dad is famous for. True. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even think about that, surprisingly. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm wondering maybe she'll stay, try to stay clear of that because... Your dad's already known for doing it. He's producing it. He's probably like, I'll produce your movie if you make a twist. Maybe. maybe. You have to follow suit. I figured he was producing because he puts a lot of his own money into his own movies. Okay. That's how he gets a lot of backing. Like Split, I think he paid for the whole thing. Wow. And that like jumped. I wish I had that kind of money. Yeah. Oh, no, it was The Visit. Oh, okay. Uh, Yeah, because it was a lower budget one, but it did a lot better. And that like re-jumped his... um, career 
Oh, gosh. Okay. So I wonder if he is trying to jumpstart her career in producing a movie for her. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I would if my kids wanted to get into it and I was already a famous director. Yeah. No, Why not? <laughs> no and it's, uh, I love the idea because you have Steven Spielberg's kids are directing now. Uh, David Cronenberg's kids are directing. Mm -hmm. um, it's cool. And I hope that they don't mirror their parents' ideas, but come up with fresh new ideas, maybe within the same tone. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Same. I think this is a good theater watch. Yeah, it comes out in June. I don't know exactly the date. I think it just said June, but yeah. Let us know what you think of the trailer in the comments and like, share, and subscribe and stay spooky.